sometimes when you're working on a large ORM project, you uh, you may feel that uh, you may have experienced that you're hard to find out how the class and the entities are actually being mapped because the ELD is showing all the entities and the class model are the map the class are showing on the class diagram. In this case, you can make use of the ORM diagram to show up the, the mapping between the class and the entity, and also the mapping between the attribute and the columns. Let me show you how it works. So we we have an ELD in here, which is uh, showing the uh, inspection process related uh, ELD. And what we can do is we first uh, try to select the class, select the entities in the tree. We can right click on the entities and then we go to the selection and then select in tree. <coughs> we switch to the model explorer and you will see that all the entities uh, we, we in this diagram are showing in the model explorer. And now we go to the database in the diagram toolbar and then we create an ORM diagram. Now we put all the entities into the ORM diagram. Just like that. Okay, and then we do the same on the class. We open the class diagram, the safety inspection, which is the uh, all the class related to the OR related to the database, which should be mapped in with the entities. And we go to the model explorer. We right click on right click on the class in diagram, and then go to selection and select in tree again. Now all the classes show up in here, so you don't need to traverse the tree manually. You just use the select in tree, which helps you to locate them. And now we also put them into the ORM diagram, like that. So now you can see that the all the class and the entities are showing in here, and the linkage now is showing the mapping between the class and the entity. Say we got the inspector class, which is mapped up with the inspector entity. But uh, how are the attributes and the column are being mapped? Up? You can right click on the blank area of the diagram and then go to the presentation options, mapping view, and then switch the mapping view to attribute mapping. Like this. And now you will see that the lines are uh, shown by pointing the columns and the associated attributes in the class so you can we can relay it a little bit to have a better looking so here you are and you can see that the item tab the class item tab which have the ID and map mapped with the ID column in the item tab entity and we also got the item tab uh, uh, a column, the type which is the type is washer method to a string type in the class.